Yeah, firstly, um, before we talk too much about the game, I'd, I'd really like to take the opportunity on behalf of uh, myself and the All Blacks to congratulate two men in the opposition, uh, Rory Best and uh, Joe Smith. Both had magnificent uh, careers in their respective roles for Ireland. Uh, they've made a difference uh, in their time and it doesn't matter what team you play for, if you can make a difference while you're there, then you've done your job. So uh, both those guys, I understand, are fish finishing up and um, we'd like just to acknowledge them publicly that what a wonderful job they've done. Well, the next thing I'd like to acknowledge publicly is, is uh, the big fella beside me here. I think uh, he's come back from a back injury, um, copped a lot of flack from people about his form, uh, but as that injury's got better and better, so's uh, his play. But it's not only that, he's led the team really, really well. Um, and I think he's even gone to a higher level at the World Cup. So I'd like to congratulate you, Rito. Uh, and the other three people I'd like to quickly mention is the bloke beside me, Ian Foster. Um, our attack game has gone to a new level and he's coaching the best I've seen. Scotty uh, McLeod doing a fantastic job with uh, defence. And my old mate Crono um, is certainly doing a great job with the forward. So we wouldn't have a team without those uh, four people. So I'd like to thank them. Thank you very much. Um, first question, please. At the back, please. Kieran, can I get your reaction, please, to those words that Steve has just said about you and also just overall, how did that feel, particularly in that first half? Um, look, you know, if Coach uh, is saying that, it's a, it's a good thing, I guess, but um, <laughs> I reckon uh, in a couple of weeks' time, it'd be better for him to say it. <laughs> but um, look, I think, you know, for us, our first half probably set up the game, didn't it? You know, for us, we could put a plenty of pressure on the Irish. We knew they were, you know, a strong forward orientated team um, who could attack as well. Uh, I think we, we nullified what they could bring early um, through our discipline and able to score some tries which uh, gave us the opportunity to get in front. Thank you. In the middle please. Uh, Steve, congratulations on your win and making the semi-finals. Um, I just could I ask you just to expand a little bit on something you just mentioned around defence. Um, I think in that first half you made 74 of 75 tackles. Um, obviously kept them to nil. I know you scored seven tries in the game, but how big was defence in, I guess, setting the tone as well as deciding the outcome? Oh, it's, it's massive, isn't it? You know, particularly in, in tournaments like this. Um, you know, defence is 50% is of the game and and probably 90% of uh, when, when you take into the psychological value of of um, of it. So, you know, as Rito said earlier, we kept our discipline. Uh, when they carried, we, we got up and made our tackles and they were punishing tackles and uh, forced some errors. Um, and, you know, when, when you're doing that, teams start to second guess it a little bit and um, psychologically you get an edge. So. You know, it's been a very, very good all tournament. Um, you know, and, and Scott, uh, you know, he's filling some big shoes in, in Smithies, but I think uh, he needs all the pats on the back uh, for what we're doing. He's, he's um, very clear what he wants. Uh, he's driving it well. Um, and, you know, the boys are responding very, very well, and you can see that on the park. Thank you. Right at the front, please. <coughs> Uh, Steve, the, the noise inside the stadium uh, before kickoff was was something else from the Irish fans. Uh, and Joe's just been in here talking about how he felt his team needed to get off to a good start. How how important was the, t the start that your team made in terms of killing the Irish spirit? Oh, again, you know, you <clears throat> so the Irish are some of the best travellers in the world, aren't they? They... Uh, I don't mind going on anywhere for a party, so um, and, and they and they enjoy it. Like, and they've got their songs and they've got their way of doing things, and uh, you know, so very, very important. Like, it was sort of like a home match feeling, because Kiwis are a little quieter. We're not quite as boisterous. We don't mind a party, but we're not quite as boisterous. And um, 
you know, but I think it's it's no different than when you play in um, Dublin. You know, if you if you do things right, then you can control the crowd. You know, if you let them in, then the, the the crowd becomes you know part of the problem. You know, so as Rito said, they started really really well, and and um, you know then people are sitting back in their seats thinking, well, what's going to happen here? And rather than singing and carrying on. Thank you. Uh, lady on the second row, please. <coughs> Hi, Aki from um, NHK. And question to Steve. Um, so do you think today's winning key was uh, from the full forwards? Yeah, I'll look at, even though I played in the backs, so I coach the forwards, so I always say it's the forwards <laughs> that are most important. Um, yeah, numbers one to five lay the platform in uh, my playbook. and. Uh, yeah, probably Fozzies as well, but uh, numbers seven, eight, nine, and six, or sorry, six, seven, eight, um, then get the benefits of those tight forwards doing their job, and then nine and ten get to to drive the game, and and you know the way we're playing at the moment, you'd have to chuck fifteen in there as well. So uh, you, if you don't go forward, it's a real simple uh, formula. If you don't go forward, you don't. You don't have opportunities to control it, so that starts with those big, you know, little numbers um, up the front. Those big men doing their job well. Thank you, gentlemen. There, please, with hand raised. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Steve. Uh, after their quarterfinal, uh, Eddie Jones said he hoped he would play you, uh, you guys, in the semi-final. How much are you looking forward to that game, and, and what sort of challenge will England represent? <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to playing them too now that we've earned the right to um, th th they'll be a massive challenge you know. but uh, I don't think tonight's the night for us to be talking about that I think you know, we we've got a formula that we work to we, you know, test matches are hard work um, you know, from Sunday to, to Saturday and, and you've got to take a wee bit of time to step off the merry-go-round and relax, and uh, we'll do that. We'll, we'll um, enjoy our moment. Uh, it was a special test match, uh, one that the All Blacks can be proud of and New Zealanders can be proud of, uh, particularly the players themselves can be proud of. And, um, you know, we won't think about England until tomorrow. Um, so there's not much point in me giving you a team talk about them just at the moment, because they're not even on my mind. Thank you. Gentlemen standing up at the back, please. <coughs> St standing up. Yes. Uh, Ian, how pleasing is it to see the attack side of things so clinical and accurate tonight? And as a coach who's been around a long time, do you get a feeling uh, that when these performances are coming, do you have a feeling before the game? Yeah, well, you get lots of feelings. I'm not sure all of them are, are very good to read, but um, it's... Look, you go into a game like this and you, you really work hard on your preparation. And, and we've, we've had a really good week and the guys have had a bounce in their step and, and it wasn't a heavy week for them. You could see them wanting to play. So I think that was pleasing. And, but, you know, I thought it was probably, you know, we, we really had to, we had to play well up front against an Irish team. And, and if you don't, you, it's really hard to do the, probably some of those special things that were happening out wide. So, you know, it was a game, I think, where... We, we won a Ford battle, and, and that's probably where the, the battle was really won overall. And I think that the quality of, of the ball we got through scrum line out and some of that ruck ball was outstanding. And uh, getting some of our boys on that front foot's what they want, what they dream of, and, and it was delivered to them today. So, you know, and, and they should be proud of what they did. Thank you. Gentleman in the middle there, please. Uh, Steve, there was a lot of chat about the less experienced players in your team before the game. How much are they bringing to the mindset and energy of this group? Obviously, Ireland probably selected more experienced, uh, proven players, but you went for those younger guys and they really delivered. Your experience is a funny thing, isn't it? What is it that, that, you know, that you've experienced? That's the key. And our young guys, a lot of them have been involved in uh, championship winning teams. Uh, in Super Rugby, um, in big moments, and, and that's why you can select them with confidence. Uh, they've played well in Test matches that we've selected them in. So, 
their enthusiasm and excitement and, and their ability uh, to play the game in the form they're in is really important. But so is the, the leadership and the experience of the guys that have been through the tough moments and been through knockout football. So uh, it was interesting, everyone was talking about how many um, Ireland had, you know, half of our 23 had played in a knockout tournament and uh, won it. You know, and that was the difference, wasn't it? Like, I'm not being disrespectful here in saying this, but Ireland's experience was, was not to win. And we had 11 guys that actually had experience of winning. And that's why you've got to get, be careful uh, when you start talking about experience. Uh, because sometimes, just because you played for a long time, uh, you might have learned a lot of things that you don't want to learn. Or you may have learned nothing along the way. I was a bit like that when I played. Didn't learn much. Thank you. It's true. No? OK. Gentleman here then, please. Second row. Thank you. Steve, do you think um, this team's sort of at their best when they've got a monkey on the back or they've, they've had a loss to a team previously, whether that's some conscious, there might have been a bit of that four years ago against France, then maybe tonight just... Um, having lost to a team previously, does that help? Um, I can't help but smile because I'm looking at your new Mo. It's, outst <laughs> it's outstanding. <laughs> kind of creepy, but outstanding. Um, look, I, I don't know if you can call it a monkey, but I think you know we got reminded and reminded and reminded and reminded that we'd lost to Ireland. And um, all black teams don't need to be reminded that they've lost two games to Ireland out of 38. They know that, and they don't forget it. We, we remember our losses way more than we remember the wins. And, um, you know, so it's, it's banked. It's not, a, it's not something that you go and talk about. You, you just everyone knows it. And, and I think it's circumstantial that, you know, Cardiff was a bit the same. I don't think it was, I just think it's circumstances. You know, we, we ended up playing somebody who, who, um, who we respect a lot tonight. We do. We, we have a lot of respect for Ireland. Uh, they're a hard team to play against um, and, and we had to spend a lot of time getting our preparation right to play them and because we knew that you know, if, if we didn't we'd be going home. Thank you. We'll move to the last question please. Gentlemen, been waiting at the, at the back. Thank you. Hey, Kieran. Um, I guess you started your career down the tram lines and now you're in the middle of the park being you know, that, that enforcer-type role. Uh, how has that transitioned through your career, and is it one that you enjoy, and just how sore are you at the moment? <laughs> um, yeah, as Steve said, like, it was a, a very tough test match. I, I think uh, the scoreboard can, you know, I guess flatter us, and I think we were very, very good tonight on, you know, the way we took our opportunities, but, you know, the Irish are a tough team, and um, I don't know that stat about the many tackles we made in that first half, but, yeah, it felt like we had to make a lot. Um, yeah, so pretty sore. But really enjoying um, the opportunity to, to play at different parts of the field. And, you know, we've got a, a loose forward group that just mixes and, and mingles and kind of goes wherever we're needed. And, um, you know, if we get a chance in the middle, it's great. Um, maybe not as fast as I used to be. So, uh, you know, just got to um, find the little gaps if I can. Great. Thank you.